Ajumobi has not replaced Haba Kiari presidency. The presidency has reacted to the fake news making the rounds on social media that President Muhammad Buhari has sacked his chief of staff, Abba Kiari. A claim about Kiari's sack went viral on social media on March 31st, 2020, after a WhatsApp broadcast message which claimed the president, Muhammad Buhari, had sacked him. The message forwarded to many Nigerians, mostly in the northern part of the country, also claimed that the president had replaced Kiari with a former governor of Oyo State, Abiola Ajimobi. The circulated WhatsApp message further said that the statement on Kiari's sack was released by the secretary to the government of the, Federa of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, on Monday. March 31st, 2020 in Abuja. The message reads in part, the termination of the appointment of Abba Kiari took immediate effect and the president has appointed Ajimobi as the new COS. The president ordered Abba Kiari to step down as chief of staff due to his health challenge. However, the presidency, through the president's aid on new media matters, Bashar Ahmad described the news as another fake news. Ahmad tweeted, Yet another fake news started trending on some WhatsApp groups that President Muhammad Buhari sacked Malam Abba Kiari and replaced him with former governor Abiola Ajimobi. Disregard and dishonor it entirely untrue. Kiari, who tested positive to coronavirus after he returned from Germany, was reportedly flown in an air ambulance to Lagos at the weekend to continue his treatment. So, my people, that's the news reaching us today. And that's the update on um, um, the, the, the news that's been going around on social media that Abba Kiari has been replaced by um, the former um, Oyo State, former Oyo State Governor, um, Mr. Ajimobi. But obviously, um, the presidency has debunked it this morning, saying that um, um, Abba Kiari was not sacked, that they haven't sacked Abba Kiari. We all know that Abba Kiari um, um, came back from Germany with the coronavirus, and um, which obviously he's treating himself at the moment. And it's been said that he was flown uh, with air ambulance to um, Lagos for treatment. But the thing again, it's this ill health thing you know the presidency has got health challenges and um, even his chief of staff has got health challenges you see the thing is we don't understand what is going on in this country anymore you see because these guys they are always absent from their duty post from their office they are always absent i mean we cannot be running nigeria on absenteeism you know it's it's unbelievable if it's not buhari today it's um abakiari tomorrow and this is the uh, chief of staff to the president. Now he's nowhere to be found. In the, in the almost few days, um, 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 in the last few days, he's nowhere to be found. Nobody even knows um, the sort of treatment he's having, if he's recovering, what, how, how he's getting on with, with the coronavirus and everything. Nobody knows. All we know is that he's been flown to Lagos. Um, are we, how are we sure that he, he, he's actually in Lagos? He's been flown to Lagos. That's what we've heard, you know? But anyways, um, the, the presidency has come to debunk the news uh, this morning saying that Haba Kiari is still the present um, chief of staff to the president. You see, so um, yes, that is what is reaching us now. But we really need to look into these issues, to be honest. Um, um, where you have 83-year-old man, you have 70-something-year-old president and all that, you know, it, it tells a lot about the country, you see. So um, we really need to look into this as, as Nigerians, you know. That's why we're lending our voice out here just to make people know exactly what is going on and what is happening in the country i think it's high time that this guy started giving the youth the younger people um the opportunity to run the country because 
with what we are seeing is either these people cannot stay healthy, cannot stay strong for at least minimum of six months. They are, is either they are flown to, 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 to the UK or to America, somewhere, I mean, something, something around, something just happens. And the, and the next thing, we, we hear all sort of lawsuits and um, peop, um, him saying, oh, he can leave the country for one week, three weeks and still be, and still um, uh, without any um, 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 just reason, you know, if it's for health challenges and all that. It's just too much for Nigerians, to be honest. It's too much for Nigerians. We cannot hold or bear this anymore. We need to say something and that's why we want you as our listeners to also lend your voice out there believe it or not these people they, they see the news it's all over everywhere they look at the media as well they see our news they see what the nigerian populace are saying they see what nigerians are saying they see what nigerians are are, are craving and talking about you know the lockdown is here and everybody is, and uh, uh, we've interviewed Nigerians on the streets and we've seen a whole lot of things that Nigerians have said. We'll bring that your way soon. It's just, the video is on undergoing some editing and everything. But we'll bring that your way soon. You know, just to see what Nigerians uh, are saying about the lockdown and what they're feeling about the lockdown. Now... Again, now it's is either is from the is is either something is wrong with the presidency or something is wrong with the chief of staff, something is wrong with President Muhammad Buhari, and a whole lot of things like that. Nigerians, we are tired. You need to lend your voice out there, just in case you're just coming across us. We are Peak Network, and we are ready always to bring all the news happening, all the happenings in Nigeria, first hand to yourself. Anywhere you are around the world. So if you haven't subscribed to us, please do press the subscription button under um, just below the, um, the, the, the comment section. And also, please do leave your um, comments on the comment section as well. So we, we, can hear your, we can hear your voice. We can see your take about this. We can know what Nigerians are saying about this. And the presidency can see as well what Nigerians are saying about this. Once again, my people, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, leave your comments. Thank you very much. Until I come your way again, bye for now.